We're in the resource sheet view here, and of course it has a listing of all my resources and their standard rates. Now if the cost of either your work or your material resources is going to be rising or falling during the project, then you want to use the cost rates table to help you keep track of that. Let me give you a few examples of rising and falling. Let's say that Rider 1 is right now at $15 an hour, but during the project he's going to get a raise up to $20 an hour. That's one. Another one is let's say our material resources, like for glossy paper here, is $25 a ream, but let's say a couple weeks into the project it increased to $30 a ream. Or another example here, let's say another resource like Editor 1 charges $20 an hour for one task, but is going to have an alternative rate for another task, like let's say $30 an hour. Well again, you want to use the cost rates table, and to set this up, just go ahead and select the resource that these uh, rates are going to be changing on, and go ahead and give it a double click. Come up here and click on the cost tab, and then down below is where the changes are going to be made. For your alternative rates, you have up to five different ones you can enter into the system here for this resource. So the default here is tab A, and he, he's at $15 an hour. If another task is going to be at $20 an hour, then choose the second tab here and type in the alternative rate. So I'm going to go ahead and type in, click here, and type in 20 and hit the tab key. And then, of course, calculate the overtime rate, whatever that is for you, and then type it in. So one task, I just need to assign the letter B to it. And all the other tasks, by default, will have the letter A assigned to it. And of course, later on, in just a minute, I'll show you how when this resource is assigned to a specific task that is going to be using that alternative rate, how to change that to the letter B to pull the rate here to have that rate charged for this resource working on that task. Okay, so you get up to five different alternative rates. Let me go back to tab A. The other thought was, is let's say that this resource is going to have a rate increase. Well, notice down below we have the default again, $15 an hour, and the effective date you can't change because, again, that's the default for the whole project. But if there's going to come a time, like let's say August the 25th, where he's going to go from $15 to $17 an hour, then come down here in the second row, and let's give it this effective date for this rate increase. And you can click on the drop-down arrow. Let me come back in here and type in 08 because that's where we need to go back into the date of our project in 2008. I'm going to click back to August 25th. Come over here and say that he's going to have a rate increase. Let's do $22. Hit the tab key. And of course we'll have to figure out the overtime rate as well. We'll just say it's 27. And then when we're finished, that's it. Go ahead and click OK. Now once you make that change, if you do nothing else, you can quickly go to your Gantt chart to the cost table and figure out when that salary increase is going to come into effect on what task. We already know the day because it's August 25th. I mean, we set that. In other words, come over here and right click on the collapse view bar, go to the Gantt chart, and then change it from the entry table here by coming up, clicking on the view menu, going down to table entry, and going over and down to cost. And as you recall, any changes that you make, whatever cells that they affect, they'll be highlighted. And since we didn't do anything else but come to the Gantt chart after we made that uh, rate increase, you'll notice that it was August 25th, and this task is on August 25th, just not uh, a little bit after. And so that's the first task that this rate increase for that resource, Rider 1, is going to come into effect because of the highlighted change here. So it's the modifying outline that he's going to get his rate increase. And then, of course, this is the summary task, so it summarizes all the tasks below here, the subtasks, so that's why that's highlighted, because if there's a rate increase on the task, it's going to increase the summary of all these tasks and, of course, the summary of the project as well. Okay, back to the resource sheet. Let's right-click on the collapse view bar, go back to the resource sheet, and as you recall, when I double-click on the resource writer 1, we had an alternative rate set up for him, so if there's a specific task that he's going to be charging $20 an hour, then I need to show you how to do it once you set up his alternative rate here. It's really simple. We just need to go to another view and say that for this task, he's not using the default A tab for his cost. He's using B. Whatever's on B, $20 an hour, is what we're going to be charged, or the project for our cost. Click Cancel. For this one, I'm going to go to the Task Usage view. I'm going to come over here and right click on the collapse view bar, go down to task usage, and then I'm going to change the table here to the cost table. Come up here, view, down to table, over and down to costs. Let me go ahead and drag the divider bar over to the right. And the column or the field that we're going to insert as a column here is going to be the cost rate table column. So to do that, just right click on any one of these column headers, 
because whatever you right click on you're going to insert the new field in front of or the new column right click on it go down to insert column click on the drop down arrow type in the letter C so we can go to the C's and there it is cost rate table select it click OK and it lists them here now by default as you recall in the resource sheet view when you're looking at the resource information by double clicking on it all of them are assigned the tab A and the tab A are the defaults so if we want to assign an alternative cost first of all you have to go back in the resource sheet view and set up that resource that either tab B tab C all the way through E set up the rate correctly and then come down here and let's say that for rider 1 who's creating the outline he charges a little bit more for his creativity so we can come in here and say that you're now pulling the alternative rate on tab B and then click off in a blank area and notice the changes did it go up well, let's take a look there's three hundred eighty dollars right if I go ahead and hit the undo button and go back to A it's down to 285 so there is a rate associated even if you don't remember um, in the training video which you can rewind and look back on that we did assign a rate to B and when we click off in a blank area it updates it increase the cost which tells me that B is a little bit more expensive than what rate we have set on the resource writer 1 on tab A so far we've just been using the work resources as an example but what about the uh, material resources where you have paper assigned to one of the um, tasks well it's no different just go to the paper resource make the alternative cost for letters B C all the way through E and then just come in here and change it here so when you change it to B for this task it went up to I mean if you changed it you could do thirty dollars or fifty dollars a ream or whatever the cost is at that time that you were using that resource for this task. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.